2025 BMW M4 CS. Exploring the innovations and upgrades in BMW's latest M model. Despite its hefty price tag of $140,895 and being too extreme for daily use, the BMW M4 CSL, with its ultra-sharp handling and striking design, sold out immediately after its 2022 debut. Limited to just 1,000 units, this car captured enthusiasts' attention. Now, almost two years later, BMW has introduced the M4 CS, priced at $124,675. This new model, though equally striking with extensive carbon fiber elements, quad headlights with yellow lenses, and a choice of satin black or golden mag wheels, is less intense in its character and execution compared to its predecessor. Unlike the M4 CSL's two racing bucket seats, the M4 CS offers four proper seats. It also features a more comfortable chassis setup rather than a rigid, track-focused suspension, and it comes with all the expected luxury amenities instead of a bare-bones, performance-oriented interior. Both the M4 CS and M4 CSL are powered by BMW's renowned twin-turbo 3.0-liter straight-six engine, producing 543 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. However, the M4 CS, equipped with standard all-wheel drive, outperforms the rear-wheel drive M4 CSL in acceleration, reaching 60 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds compared to the CSL's 3.6 seconds. Given that the mechanically similar M3 CS sedan achieved 60 miles per hour in just 2.7 seconds, BMW's figures might be conservative. To enhance the CS's performance, BMW increased the maximum boost pressure to 30.5 PSI, adding 20 horsepower, and reduced the car's weight by over 70 pounds. This weight reduction was achieved through a lighter exhaust system with a titanium silencer, redesigned low-weight wheels, a carbon fiber hood, various slimline splitters and spoilers, four large air intakes without grills, and a simplified center console. We drove the M4 CS on the Salzburg Ring circuit in Austria, about a two-hour drive from Munich. Due to mixed weather conditions, we couldn't use the Michelin Pilot Cup 2 or track-oriented tires, which are a factory option. Instead, our Riviera Blue M4 CS was equipped with Pilot Sport 4S summer tires, size 275-35ZR, 19 up front, and 285-30ZR, 20 at the rear. The Salzburg Ring, just over 2.6 miles long, features a pair of fast straights leading to slower curves near the start-finish line and the challenging high-speed 90-degree Nockstein corner at the western end. The track's constantly changing radii and several elevation changes make it more demanding than its seemingly straightforward layout suggests. Sven Esch, the driver of our pace car and senior vehicle dynamics engineer of the M4 CS, provided guidance. No 2 WD please? Feel free to dial in track mode and MDM, but do not switch off DSC. Following his advice, we proceeded with our test drive. The M4 CS comes standard with thinly padded bucket seats that, despite their minimal cushioning, keep even larger drivers securely in place during hard braking and sharp turns, thanks to the three-point seatbelts. The steering wheel, although unnecessarily squared off at the bottom, features a red straight-ahead marker but is almost too thickly rimmed for standard-sized hands. The 8-speed transmission offers three operating modes, Auto, Sport, and Manual. We chose Manual mode and selected the fastest of the three shift speeds, which is quick and punchy but not as harsh as the second to third Sport Plus shift in a 911 GT3. This highlights a key difference. The M4 CS is less intimidating than the CSL, which thrived on the edge in wet conditions and could be unpredictable even in the dry. Even the long back straight at the Salzburg Ring isn't sufficient to reach the M4 CS's claimed top speed of 188 miles per hour. We managed an indicated 144 miles per hour before engaging the optional carbon ceramic brakes, which start showing their effectiveness after the second or third stint, while the crowd on the pit wall continued to cheer. The brakes, springs, dampers, and anti-roll bars are all specifically tuned for the CS. In track mode, throttle response is quicker, more torque is sent to the rear wheels, stability control interference is delayed slightly, and the chassis flexes its muscles more energetically at the limit. 
Drivers can store their favorite dynamic profiles using two fire red steering wheel buttons, labeled M1 and M2. For example, M1 could lock all systems in Sport or Sport Plus with DSC off, while M2 might serve as a low grip setting with the full safety net engaged. Unlike Porsche, BMW M allows drivers to adjust key dynamic interfaces, such as steering response and brake action. Although the difference between comfort and sport modes is relatively subtle, we would prefer consistent feedback under all driving conditions. It's worth noting that over time, BMW steering has lost some of the deeply reassuring connectivity and total haptic immersion that peaked with the legendary E46 M3. Even in a sharp handling and engaging sports coupe like the M4 CS, Electric actuation and electronic control have traded some of the crispness and sparkle for reduced effort and enhanced safety. That said, the M Division's latest creation remains a deeply emotional machine. Press the red starter button, watch as the digital displays come to life, listen to the exhaust purr at idle, then blip the throttle and notice how the sound changes with the selected drive mode. Not enough? Press the exhaust button, switch to Sport Plus, and check again. Much better. Now, Pull the gear lever into drive and take off. What's next? Puresh, another qualification lap or a long run. Despite the inline six's red line at 7,200 RPM, the torque curve remains strong from 2750 to 5950 RPM, providing plenty of mid-range power. The shift lights on top of the speedometer and tachometer instantly reflect every change in rhythm, though the instruments still use less readable square bracket graphics instead of traditional round dials. While BMW removed the center armrest without asking, the iDrive controller remains for those who prefer it over the touchscreen. Two five-lap runs and some extra track time might not seem sufficient to fully evaluate a new car, but the M4CS is essentially a familiar entity with some new enhancements. Though it resembles a facelift CSL, its road manners, ride comfort, performance, and equipment are more akin to an M4 Competition X-Drive with added flair. The catch is that this flair will cost you an additional $35,200. Even if the production run is limited to one year and 2,000 units, which might boost resale value, a base model M4 with standard seats and more options might be a more attractive option. You can save even more by choosing the 503 horsepower $84,375 rear-wheel drive version, or opt for a future classic with the 473 horsepower M4 manual priced at $80,275. While the CS is the standout performer in the range, offering exceptional dynamics and appeal, its slight edge comes at a steep premium. 2025 BMW M4 CS Review a sweet spot of performance? The 2025 BMW M4 CS positions itself as the ideal middle ground between the ferocious M4 CSL and the powerful, yet slightly tamer, M4 competition. Pros Sharpened performance The M4 CS boasts a bump in power over the M4 competition, with some sources estimating an increase of up to 30 horsepower. This translates to thrilling acceleration and a truly exhilarating driving experience. Lighter and more agile, BMW incorporates extensive carbon fiber components to shave off weight compared to the M4 competition. This translates to a more responsive car that devours corners with precision. Cons Price point Be prepared to shell out a hefty sum for the privilege of owning an M4 CS. Expect a starting price thousands more than the already expensive M4 competition. Not a daily driver. With its focus on performance, the M4 CS can be a harsh companion for everyday commutes. The stiffer suspension can translate to a rough ride on less than perfect roads. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.